Welcome back to Adobe Dreamweaver CC. In this tutorial, we're going to cover uh, coding basically and snippets in uh, Dreamweaver. So, uh, I know the coding area can be very intimidating, especially for visual type people. I'm a visual type person, and I'm not the best coder in the world in any way, form, uh, but I have learned a few things. And um, if you notice with Dreamweaver, there is the split view here. So, um, Right now I'm in the design view here, uh, but I can also click in the code view. What I want you to pay attention is right over here on the left, what happens when I click in the code view, we get some additional tools here. And so I have here, uh, lorem epsom text is filler text or placeholder text. Uh, that's what lorem epsom is. And I wrote the word, uh, have you tried lorem epsom bacon? And then what is lorem epsom bacon? And then here is some uh, lorem epsom text, but not bacon text. Uh, so the lorem ipsum bacon, if you go online, there's lots of different lorem ipsum sites, and I think the, the bacon one is pretty fun. Uh, basically, you just type in however many paragraphs, choose all meat or meat and filler, and then click give me bacon, and voila, you have some lorem ipsum text. And then you can copy it and paste it in uh, wherever you want. Basically, the, the whole idea of lorem ipsum is it is a filler or a placeholder for text and it's basically used just to, to basically draw your design. So uh, why did I explain all that and why does it say lorem ipsum up here? Well, perhaps uh, there's some things that I wanna do. For example, in here, one of the things that coders like to do every once in a while is comment it out things. So what, it, uh, you know, what is lorem ipsum bacon? Well, now that we know what that is, I could just delete this line, but uh, with it selected here, I can go over here to the code editor and I can apply a comment, which is the uh, third icon here from the bottom. Uh, this little triple widget is basically a customized toolbar for adding additional code hints. Uh, but this one here is to remove comment. And then this one here is apply comment. If I click on this, you can apply HTML comment, which is what this document is. You can do a CSS or uh, a JavaScript. So let's try the HTML comment here and click on it and then at, when I click in the stage here watch what happens notice that line has disappeared it's still here in the code view so uh, it is here it's just been sort of grayed out and uh, in coding a lot of times we like to have just a comment to explain things and this is uh, an explanation something that I wanted to do which is you know describe what the heck is alarm of some bacon uh, now let's explore some of the snippets the snippets panel is over here on the right and uh, basically, uh, before I actually get to snippets, there's one other code little guy here, and I've used it before, but it's the for, format source code. This guy here, if you click on it and apply source formatting, it basically uh, formats your, your text, so it makes it a little bit easier in code view to select you know, the, the um, definition list versus paragraphs versus H1 and body tag and so forth. So uh, what we want to do now is look at the snippets over here on the right. And I had them open, so I'm going to collapse this little folder here. There's tons of snippets. We're not going to get in any kind of detail here in terms of what they can do right now. But I just want to give you kind of an introduction of what they're going to do with the HTML snippets by opening up here. And right down here, there is a lorem ipsum one. And I did that for this text here. So uh, you can add it uh, you know, by clicking on it uh, in here. But there is a... Um, uh, in code view you can insert the snippet by typing out lorem ipsum and and it tells you right there and hitting the tab key so let's do that after the comment here and we'll actually add another sort of paragraph of this lorem ipsum here all I have to do is hit return and then type in lorem ipsum and the magic uh, whoops I misspelled lorem ipsum and then hit the tab key and then what will happen is voila we have all this new uh, text here which is all filler text again and I'm gonna highlight it all right here in code view a lot of times that's good and then I'm just gonna add it as a paragraph by clicking on um, the paragraph tab here and now we have two paragraphs of this lorem ipsum text um, and you can see here we have uh, the definition list which we did before and then we have this footer here and I was curious about, uh, maybe you were curious about, what can you do with snippets? Well, you can actually utilize all the snippets that are here, but you can also create your own custom snippets. 
So for example, what if you have a footer that you use all the time on all your pages? Instead of having to copy and paste, you can actually create a snippet for that and have that available. So if I just click on the word footer here in the code view here, uh, down here towards the bottom, there's a little plus icon that says new snippet, and I'll click that. Uh, the next one over is new snippet folder if I need to organize it. Um, and then I can edit the current snippet if I want to, and then remove snippets. So those are little icons there. I'm going to click on the new snippet icon. And what it's doing here is it's giving me a, a you know name. What do I want to call it? And basically, it's the footer snippet. Uh, that's what I would call it. So just uh, footer underscore snippet. And then description, uh, I could call it, you know, um, uh, my personal uh, footer. And then trigger key, um, call it uh, footer. And then maybe uh, James after that. And then I'd have to just hit tab after that. Then it says insert code here by hitting control V. <clears throat> and then you can see it there. It says footer, all artwork, all that, and then click OK. And just like that, there it is. Uh, it's in here. We scroll down. Now it ended up in the wrong place uh, because I didn't have it you know, correctly in there. But I can always drag it up into the here. And you just don't want to cover up the uh, other one. You just want it to be uh, sort of below. So I'm going to leave it. Uh, actually, I want to drag it up to the HTML snippets folder. So I'll just drag it into there. Looks like, uh, let's see here. Let's drag it all the way around here. Green. There we go. I want to drag it into the HTML snippets and just release. And now it's at the bottom one here. So let's test this out. Let's create a new document. File new. Uh, just HTML5. Click create. And then down here in the body tag, um, basically I'm just going to hit enter and type in footer James tab. So with it selected I could just hit enter and then enter and I could add you know my own footer there but if I want to have it actually be in there the way it is here just basically double click on this and that will add everything that's in there the way it was. So you can see here I've got the footer icons in each of these areas and then the line of text here with uh, all right reserved. So it works out. So that's sort of an overview of the snippets. Let's go back to the definition list here. Just want to double check, make sure I cover everything. So you got, if you want to remove that comment, by the way, I can highlight it. And uh, basically right here is the remove comment. And as I click out and click in here, you'll see here, what is Lauren Ripson Bacon? And it's back. And again, remember always with the codes, uh, work in the code view if you click down here you have additional options here uh, this final customized toolbar basically allows you to add additional uh, sort of options to your toolbar if you need to um, but basically uh, like the indent code if you wanted to do that might be kind of cool or the word wrap but um, yeah but overall this is looking pretty good so uh, that's the basic overview of working in the code view in Adobe Dreamweaver CC. Until next time, see you soon. Cheers.